Ugh. Oh my God, do I hate that, that applause. It's like, it's unbelievable. It's the same applause that's gonna get you to take vaccines. Yeah, yeah, vaccines, yeah. Nobody wants it, because, it, because I'm gonna be shit. I know I'm gonna be, I got that feeling I'm gonna be shit because I was fucking brilliant the last time and I'm never good twice. I am never good twice if you saw me the last time. And you got, you got all the pretty girls in like right here, right here. Maybe there are the pretty girls over there. This is like a fucking incel convention. This is like the loser men of all time. These guys, the loser men. But they had to pay you to sit in with these people. This guy's horrible. Anyway, this guy is like fucking horrible. And the ones that aren't incels are the MGTOWs. Are the MGTOWs. Exactly, just like, you don't know, you even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I don't, feel, I don't feel that funny. Sorry for saying shut up. I'd never do that, really. I'm supposed to like be loving and shit like that. It just kills me when I see like fucking Spanish people and, and Italians being funny. That's like, that's like, that's like cultural appropriation. I, I'm a New York Jew. I got nothing except my sense of humor. I got I know, a little bit of money. I've got nothing. <laughs> I just had to see some fucking, see some Indian, whatever, Italian, they're all the same, these dirty immigrants. <laughs> coming, coming, coming into my comedy stage. I'm the funny one. It's me. If I'm, if I'm not funny here, what do I have? He's got, Italian guy's got like pasta, whatever. And I got, I've got nothing. I've got, I've got nothing. And the whole thing is three, 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 the last couple of years have been really bad for me because it's like I entered lockdown looking, I was fat, I was fat. If you remember the last time I was here, I spoke about diabetes. And, uh, brilliant. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you thought that, that, that diabetes would be very, would be funny anyway. So I've lost a lot of weight. I've lost some, I've lost some weight. So, uh, so I used, to, I used to look like Harvey Weinstein. And, uh, and now I look like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein, which is good. Yeah, it's just good. And it's like, it's like I used to be. So uh, I don't know which is worse, Harvey Weinstein or Jeffrey. At least, at least Harvey Weinstein did something for somebody. But uh, at least he got him careers and made, you know, made him some money. But, uh, but uh, you say the same about Jeffrey Epstein. He gave him a couple of shekels. He gave him a couple of shekels. He paid for the women. He paid. Anyway, you can't make these jokes anymore. You can't make, make these jokes anymore. Because I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew. It's not, so, it's not so good to be a Jew anymore. It's not so good. It's not so good. He's he a Jew. Are you a Jew? Are you a Jew? Thank God. Thank God. There's nothing worse than looking like a Jew and not being a Jew. I'm not being a Jew. I'm not being a Jew. And he's, he's ugly, but at least he's got a couple of dollars. At least he's got, look at the loser club right there. The loser. Every ethnicity of a loser right there. Right there. No wonder, no wonder the women are lesbians. Just like, oh, oh, I'm not gonna pick on you guys. I'm not gonna pick. Uh, you don't pick. You don't pick on guys like this because they're angry. They're angry. They're not, getting, they're not getting laid. They're just real. They're right. They're angry. They're angry. But that's, and that's why you girls are the lesbians now. You're lesbians now. Of course. Of course. Would you want to fuck these guys? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. They can't do anything for you. They can't. They can't. Nothing. 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 Louis, you need this, Louis. That's what's happened with the world, you know, because women, because women, they go to the lesbian thing now, because, because, you know, because it's changed. It used to be, it used to be, back in the day, you went for something a little bit wild. That's what women used to do. They used to go for the, you know, the boy, it used to be the boy next door, that was, but then it was like the boy on the other side of town, right? Maybe another town, maybe, <laughs> maybe a boy of a different, uh, you know, country that he came from. Maybe a Welsh boy from another side of town. Maybe a Welsh boy. Maybe kind of a brown-skinned Welsh boy. You know what I mean? Just to, just to, so when you brought the guy home to your parents, they were like shocked and disgusted. And disgusted. Maybe, maybe a Welsh boy from another part of town. Brown skin in a wheelchair, maybe. In a wheelchair. With burns over 90% of his body. Just something, something, you know. And then it became maybe, maybe not a boy, for maybe not a Welsh boy, maybe a Welsh girl with burns over 90% of her body just to fuck up your parents. And just, and nowadays that's not even good enough now. Now you have to fuck Lewis Schaefer. <laughs> You gotta have sex with me. You wanna destroy your parents. <laughs> You've gotta do nothing, nothing. It took me, it took me a long time to realize how to please women sexually. I, I leave them alone. I can't, I 
keep my distance. I keep my distance. It's not happening. I'm not interested anymore. I'm not, I'm not interested. What were we talking about? No, because it's a Jew thing. It's like, because that was my act. My act was the Jews, but people don't give a shit about the Jews anymore. And I, they don't care. They don't care. It used to be always a Jew. Oh, that's so great. Do my taxes. You know? <laughs> Tell me about the Holocaust. You know, just, uh, my, my role model coming from New York, which I come from New York, right? And I still have my accent. They say, why do you still have your accent? You know why I still have my accent? Because I don't listen to you people. <laughs> I don't care. You can talk all you want to. I'm not going to start talking like you. I'm not listening to you. You worthless fucking scum. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's true, you're just horrible. You know you're horrible people. And you know, you know, but you're so arrogant, you laugh anyway. What does he know about, the, about us? We are English people, and we are so much better than... I can't do an English accent. But, uh, I can do a French, a kind of a gay French, a French thing. No, no, because Woody Allen was my role model. He's, he, what, no, what Woody Allen said, wait, 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 Joe coming. What Woody Allen said... <laughs> I'm trying my best. I haven't done this in like a year and a half. I just, all I want to do is get COVID and die. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard about this COVID thing so much. I'm waiting for people to die. I'm waiting for your fucking granny to die. I want your granny to die. I want her to die. I remember I did a gig. I did a gig in the day Princess Marg, Marg, no, the mother. Who was the prince, the mother of uh, the Queen. Queen, Queen mother. She died. When did she die? Like, uh, like 2002. 2002, right? So I've been here, been living here for 20, 20 years. They've not been good years. And uh, <laughs> if I'd been somebody in America, I'd still be there. I wouldn't be here. And, uh, and I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's funny, it's funny, right? It's funny, but it's, it's real. It's, it's real. I'd like to see my kids again. And, uh, you don't know true happiness until you have kids and they move out. That's, that's true happiness. How old are you? My kids are, tw my kids are 20. You have a choice. You, got, you have one kid's 20, one kid's 18. And you got a choice between, between the 20 year old who is like a very good student at Bristol studying politics and international relations. He's a really good student, but he's like fat and ugly. And, <laughs> now it's okay, I tell him that to his face. <laughs> so, you gotta tell him, you gotta tell him, you gotta get diabetes and die. And uh, you gotta tell him. So you have that kid, that kid, or the other kid who's like just really like rock hard, rock hard, but a bit, a bit dim, and uh, that's there's no happiness in the world. You're going to be disappointed with you, your, your children. Anyway, <laughs> you think it's going to be all good? You think I didn't even think about having kids. I think about it now. That's why I don't have sex. I think about it. <laughs> that's the best birth control. Just to say fuck it. I don't want to. Just I can't risk it. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't care how beautiful you girls are. The answer is no. The, the answer is, the answer is no. Do you want my money now? That's the question. <laughs> I just give you the money you want to hear. Take half the house. And uh, take the entire house. You're going to take the, not even a house, it's a flat in Peckham. And uh, it's not even in Peckham, it's a nunhead. Anyway, <laughs> so too much information. Too much. I know what you're thinking. This is an act. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, Woody Allen. So the key, Woody Allen said that 90% of success is just showing up. And the other 10% is not fucking your wife's kids. Is that wrong to say? Is that wrong to say? I mean, it's an old joke. I mean, because the guy's been, you know, doing that for years. For years, I'm not saying it's an old joke. I mean, comedians are judged by how soon we, we tell the first joke on a difficult subject. That's how comedians are judged. The ones who were here today, you say, wow, that's something I hadn't heard about. And that was like, I didn't expect to hear a joke like that. It's like I told the first joke about Madeline McCann's disappearance. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The day before I kidnapped her. <laughs> and that was like, like way, way too soon. It was way too soon. People said, hey, that joke's too soon. We don't even know, we don't even know who Madeline McCann is. That's the definition. That's the definition. Do you want to hear my award-winning Holocaust material? Yes. 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 No, no, no. I can make jokes about the Holocaust. Why can I make jokes about the Holocaust? No, because I'm a Labor Party member. So I can make jokes. If I thought 
thought you would enjoy that joke, I wouldn't have told it. I wouldn't have told it. That's how, it, that's how much I hate you people. That's how much I hate you people. Because whatever you are, and that's the thing about comedy today, is, is I'm looking at you and I'm thinking to myself, no one agrees with me. No one, there's no such thing as a Venn diagram today. Everybody is in a circle of their own. Am I right? There's no, there's no overlapping of anything. I, I go to, on Sundays, I go to that stand in the park thing. Have you heard of the stand in the park? Yeah, yeah stand in the park thing. I go to, it's, it's, it's COVID deniers, COVID deniers. Because surprisingly, hot chicks. Hot chicks. I wouldn't believe it. I, why would they, why are COVID deniers? These are gorgeous girls. Why are the COVID deniers so... So, so beautiful, anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's a good place to pick up, pick up, Jay. They might die soon if, a, you know, because <laughs> they haven't taken the vaccine. <laughs> that's what you get. You gotta get a girl who's vulnerable. That's, what, that's, that's why I don't like young women, because you can you throw a punch, you can run. <laughs> My ex-wife used to say to me, you stop chasing me, you stop chasing me. I said, you stop running. Keep on running, I wouldn't chase. Anyway, anyway. So, so I'm, at the, I'm at the COVID deniers thing, and they say, you know what we're after is we're going over to the, uh, to the climate change deniers meeting. Would you like to come at that? And I, I go, well, well, it's not exactly what I believe in, but I'll, I'll go along with you, you know? Probably maybe some high hot chicks, and, and uh, <laughs> guys gotta do what a guy's gotta do. Anyway, anyway, then they said, we're going over to the Holocaust denier. <laughs> I said, no, no, that's a bit too far for, for me. <laughs> okay, this worked out better than I thought it was gonna work. <laughs> and it's not because it's not you're a good audience, because you're not, you're not a good audience. <laughs> you're easily susceptible to be, because I could feel it. I could, look at this guy here, sitting right there. He's like scowling the entire time. Scowling, scowling the, and he's like sending a lot of negative vibrations about the show, <laughs> scowling. Scab probably has a huge penis because he he's very skinny. So maybe at least it looks, it looks good. It looks big. It looks big. It looks, it looks big because it's, it's, it looks, looks big. <laughs> it looks big. I, you, know what's the, you know what the amazing thing is? Um, I shouldn't say this, but I, I got some skills. I, <laughs> that's a horrible thing to say. But uh, <laughs> I don't have an ending though, so that's a, that's a problem. Tell us about your wife. I can't. I gotta go. It's my time is over. You don't want to. Oh. Oh, really? No, no, no. That's good. That's good. I don't work the comedy store because I said well, I had a like ten minute spot like this, and you know, in the beginning, and I said, all right, I'm not gonna discuss. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>